Hey guys, it's Ellen here, and we are having fun today. We are splattering paint and creating an impressionistic looking style um, floral kind of, you know, field here. Uh, it's kind of similar to one I did a while ago. We're just doing it again, but in a, you know, maybe bigger, bigger size. Uh, I go over the step by step. Any beginner can do this. Anyone can do this. It's super easy, super fun, super relaxing. Gets you out of your comfort zone get you thinking about color and movement and all that jazz. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you hadn't hit the bell notification button, please hit the bell notification button to know my tutorial is up. Also, please check out my Patreon. I have um, ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials weekly, and um, live stream once a month on the top tier. It's a place people go and support my channel, which I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. So. Without, and you can just check it up up here. You'll see a little pop up in a second. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, okay. So let's go over supplies. A piece of 100% uh, cotton, cold pressed paper, arch paper taped down on just a piece of cardboard. Just hold it down. It's a little thick so I can move it around if I want to. Um, I think it's like an eight by, well, actually it's seven by 10 inch piece. Paper towels, paints, water jars are up here. It's, Kind of hard to see them. <laughs> um, this is based off like another splatter one that I did. Let's, I figured let's do another one. Just having like one of those mental breakdown weeks, you know, you go through those, everybody goes through those and let's just have fun because hell, it's just the world is just a mess right now and I'm just so sick of hearing about it and uh, I want everybody to enjoy their life like myself. So we're going to have fun with watercolor. This is not going to be a serious thing. Don't worry if it doesn't look the same. I'm going to grab my Princeton 12. This is a big fat old brush here. If you have one of these, if you don't have one of these, just use what you have, you know, don't worry about what if you don't have the same kind of brushes as me, um, use what you have, you know, and we're just going to move some paint around and splatter some paint. So we're going to work on the sky. Actually, I might want to use a thicker, maybe a bigger brush. I might use just a one inch craft brush for this. So I'll grab my water and I'm just going to put some water, like basically like halfway across. I'm going to put some colors for the sky. I'm going to play around with that. Let's see. Okay, I'm grabbing some water. A little, a little wetter than I have here. All right. That's a pretty ultramarine blue. I'll grab some magenta. So I get a little purple going here. Pretty purple sky. I add some of this blue. You can do some of the peacock. It's very bright. Just grab some blues, guys. It doesn't have to be this perfect picture. Play around with color. This is what I do when I'm I'm feeling art burnout. Yeah, I know I can admit it. We go through this. All of us. Um you're not the only ones that get frustrated. <laughs> Real artists, people who paint professionally like myself and work professionally in art get burnt out. How do we overcome this? Many ways. One of them is what I'm doing right now. You just paint. If it's not a particular design, you're painting shapes and colors. So that's what we're going to do today. Colors. So I got some nice pretty magenta in here to get a purple kind of sky going here. Don't worry about it if you don't like it. We can do it again. I'm going to add some more blue. Some concentrated blue more than here. La la la. And then maybe some more magenta. Let's brighten this up a little more. Oh yeah. Let's get some bright in there. And then the blue, you get the purple going. See, I tap it in my paper towel every now and then just to get rid of it. If it's too, if it's too much paint. I think it's like, oh, it's too much. I'm just trying to have fun. All right, now we're gonna take that same brush, clean off that paint, hit the bottom. We're gonna do some greens, the ground. <laughs> I am losing it, can't you tell? Yes, I am in much need of a little vacation. Okay, uh, peacock blue, and you know what I'm gonna grab now, if you watch my channel. Oh yes, the cadmium yellow deep, let's get in there. Let's get some more yellow. Let's get in some greens. Having fun with greens. 
Oh yeah, more blue, brighter green. Just get in there, throw in the color. Don't be afraid. Look at that. Now I wouldn't go heavy on the color because we're gonna start splattering in color and adding other colors. So don't get too crazy. Just we're gonna go light in the beginning. You don't wanna get nuts. If you did right now, wanted to splatter some color and see how it bleeds, you could try that. But this is kind of wet. So I don't want to go too crazy. I'm going to add some more peacock blue, some yellow. Getting it thicker with the paint, less water, helps it not bleed as much. I might add a little bit burnt ember, Prussian blue. So that's a darker green. Let's see, let's play around. I like to hit the brush on, a, on top of another brush. Get some nice little splatters going here already. Oh yeah. Now those are going to bleed more because it's already wet in here. You might want that. Woohoo! This is the most like stress relieving kind of thing you can possibly do. If you're just like so sick of it all <laughs> and you want to just, oops, he went up here a little too much. So you might want to cover that. We're going to let that dry. Woohoo! I made a mistake already. Don't you love when I make mistakes? But you know what? I'd love to show you how to fix them. So I didn't want that to splatter up there and I did, but it's still wet. So let's go in and fix that. Ooh, you didn't even know that it was there. Did you? Whoa. And I just got rid of those green spots. Voila, like magic. Okay, so now we are definitely gonna let it dry. Um, or you're gonna have to cover that with some paper I've had to find some paper. I've got a piece of paper here, but because if you put the paper on here when it's wet, it's gonna go on the paper. So you might wanna wait till that's dry. Or you just be really careful about where you're splattering the paint while it's still wet, right? You're just gonna have to go like that. Just be careful. Just kinda hit this edge here. Oh, good time. Getting that color in there. Get some more yellow. We're building up on our greens here. Just splatting that paint. Isn't that cool already? <laughs> I think it does. I really enjoy doing this. It's so therapeutic. See, I'm adding the colors. Yellow, more yellow, see more yellow, going right in there. And now you're going closer to the paper, won't splatter out here. Rookie mistake, but I'm showing you my mistake so that you know how to correct yours, right? It happens to everybody. Already it's looking cool. You can kind of like, maybe have like it really kind of going like this. So more of the flowers and like intensified going out with some, add some Prussian blue. Get that green a little bit darker, some burnt ember, and it's thicker paint. See that? And darker. Oh, I did it again, didn't I? <laughs> you think I would learn from the first time? I'm a comedian, I'm telling you. So I think I'm gonna actually have to wait till it dries. I'm gonna take this out in here. You think I would learn my lesson? <laughs> All right, we're gonna let this dry and then we're gonna come back and splatter it. Alrighty guys, Crazy Allen finished making, stop making a mess and taking that paper now that I dried this section. Woohoo, move this back here. So if you don't want it getting up there on your sky, <laughs> you gotta cover it. Yeah. Again, back to the splatter, covering this. Dark green. Woohoo! You can't go wrong, guys. You can't go wrong with anything like this because it's just too much fun. Now, if you get it wetter, see how much more water I'm adding? Bigger splotches. Oh, yeah. Bigger brush, bigger splotches, too. 
getting closer, concentrating the splotches and the splatter splattering. Seriously, this is the most therapeutic thing you could do. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It looks so impressionistic, doesn't it? You just keep building on these splatters and the colors. You get the greens, adding some more yellow greens. You just can't go wrong. And then you get the darker ones out here. Get closer, adding some more, I'm add some more Prussian blue down here. Ooh, dark. Really getting that splatter in there. Seriously, I am telling you, this is the best thing you can do for yourself this week. Why? So, you know, it's Friday. Number two, it takes out all that stress. And if you're feeling stressed out and you're feeling like life is just too much, getting your anger out on the brushes. <laughs> Not too much anger, I hope. I'm going to grab some more yellow. See, it's pretty loose. Woohoo! Having fun. All right, now we're going to get a little crazier. See, splatter, splatter. See, the splatter is going into the splatter, so it's getting really wet on wet. It's getting a little wild. Let's see what happens when we lift this up. See how we didn't make a mess? See that? Go back there and put it down. Gonna add some more blue. I swear to God, guys, we could do this all day. I could do a series of these in all different colors. But see how I'm doing more darker on the edges? I'm gonna add some browns in that blue, I'm gonna really dark. Yeah, get in there and get dark. Kind of concentrate that. You see how it's going like this? You could just go all the way across, but we're gonna try and do something different. Put a little down here, a little dark colors. It's kind of like our you're seeing the like this. We're leaving the center kind of light and bright and the edges dark. So the composition is that your eye is going kind of in this. It's, it's kind of pulling you in. So obviously we're gonna do something in the center there that you want your eye to pull in, All right? Depends on how you wanna do your composition. Okay, I think I splattered that craziness enough. I'm gonna add some more yellow in here. Ooh, I swear to God, I'm loving this. <laughs> I sing terribly, so sorry. Okay. Wow, look at that. Magical. You can try and get some of the edges here while you're at it. Just be careful. Because at this point, we have made our bed. We cannot fix that paint if it's going to go up there. You know what I'm saying? Let's be strategic. <laughs> or you can take your brush and really just plant. Oops. See? Just go like that and plant kind of your splatter in a way. And you can take, you know, your paintbrush, whatever brush you have, whatever you're working with. Do little scrapes. See, little scrapes. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start to put some blooms in in a second, but we're gonna go like this, like grasses. See, just taking the tip. This is the Princeton 10, but you can use whatever you have. Just go up like this, take your time, push the paint around. Making these little grasses, wisping that way, that way. See how much fun that is? You already have the paint on the paper. Take your time over here on the edges. Do, do, do. There's nothing that's very therapeutic. <laughs> okay, wiggle. See how I just did wiggle that? Alrighty. Now we can put in some pretty colors. So I think I'm going to do some purples or some blues. I got my ultramarine here with my beautiful magenta. 
I'll get this nice pretty purple. Maybe I'll put it more on the blue side. Blue purple. And put some ultramarine up here. And we'll see how we like this. We're just going to take whatever brush you have again. I'm using the Princeton uh, 10 Neptune. I'm just going to push down some paint. It's a little wet. See? One of those little grasses. So he's just kind of dotting it to and fro next to the little um, grasses that you made. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. What the heck happened? <laughs> Sorry. So, back and forth and up, right? This is back and forth and up. See what I did there? And I just tap it up that way. So it's kind of like um, lavender. You can get some blue by itself too. Just tap it back and forth and up, up, up. It's a bigger one. You want to make bigger circles on the bottom. You want to add more magenta, make it more purple. You can do that. So you have more purple one over here. It's just a simple wildflowers. Um, if you want it lighter, you could use some white gouache. See, got some white gouache here. A little trick. Add it in with the color that we just did. And look at that. Because gouache can go right on top of any color. So just doing some purples. Can add some magenta. Now it's pretty wet and wet here, so it's going to bleed. I'm going to add magenta. So it's this back and forth movement. Just doing some wildflowers. Let me zoom back out. Now you can keep them all in blues and purples if that works for you. Another color that's really great. Let me see if I can watch. I'm gonna be. Oh, I can find it. You know, I love this color, uh, Verdier blue. It's just like this beautiful, like French blue you would see in Provence. And it was just kind of almost. Um, I had some purple in my brush, but clean off my brush. You can just take it right out of the tube. Basically, it's just a just gorgeous color. And you see, ugh. I love this color. You don't even need to mix anything with it. I'm just kind of pushing it around. You see? Now that's not really splattering. You can sp splatter it if you want to. See, I can take that and go in and splatter it too. But you can also make actual blooms. See, I'm splattering the blue. Kind of all down in here. God, I love this color. <laughs> Sorry. I just do. It is the most beautiful blue. Yep. It's just pretty. So it's getting a little wet on wet muddy here. So what I'm going to do again is dry it again. And we're going to do another layer of splattering. So I'm going to dry it and come back. Okay, this is mostly dry, still a little wet up here, but it was getting pretty muddy in here and I really wanted that blue to shine. I have to get some more blue. And it was just, if, if you see that happening, stop it, you know, let it dry. Um, I patted some of it with the paper towel, release some of it. Now I can just take this blue, it's so concentrated right now, and just go back over here. Oh, look at that color. I'm sorry, I just think it's so awesome. And you can go back in here and add that blue because it was just getting so muddy. And see, I'm just kind of tapping my brush, tip tap. And you can make, you know, more bigger blooms in the front, just like circle, kind of like a hollyhock. And you could add some white to that, white gouache. Lighten it, brighten it, see? That white gouache just goes a long way. See, I'm just adding the white gouache. 
how that just stands out. Let me zoom in so you can see. Just add it to some of that blue color. It's just like the best. I know I say that too much, but it's true. You really, if you don't want to buy a lot of gouache, I say just get white and black. That's all you need, right? And you can add it to your watercolor. It will be lighter. It won't be like this perfect color. And look at that. It's like this beautiful periwinkle color. And you can turn this painting. It's just started out splattering, and then you're just kind of doing some dots, really, into this perfect, like, Monet-style renaissance not renaissance, excuse me, my brain, impressionistic painting. See, I'm just adding that color here and adding blue over here. I should love that blue. If you don't like blue, fine. Do pink. I think we'll add some pink in a second. But I'm just kind of just taking the brush, I'm just tapping it around. And you can do bigger taps. So tap, tap, tap. Bigger ones kind of on the bottom. See that? Don't be afraid. And then you can do some up here that you haven't touched. We could add some greens to that. But just go right in here. Go crazy. Splatter and tap. Splatter and tap. <laughs> it's like that movie with uh, Reese with a Spoon. Was it Legally Blonde? Bend and Snap. Okay, if you didn't watch that movie, I can't help you. But um, yeah. And you go back in here and you add that white. Look at that. Just pops. See how it just pops right off the page. You are going to create a Monet style picture. And people are going to be like, what is that? Just by tapping that color. Again, we're going to add that magenta. So it was like really dark here. I'm going to go in here with the white gouache. And just put it on top of that color. And bam. <laughs> Get even more magenta. See, just brighten right up. Put some in here, put some down in here. Add that white. See, we talked about the pink, right? Just the dots. Pink up in here. Now I wouldn't do it like every single section. You might have like a cluster of pink in one area and some just touches of it in another. Don't go too crazy, you know what I mean? Going over here. Keep going back and forth, adding some of that white to the pink. Go back and add more. Right? Clean up my brush. Get even whiter. With the pink. Bigger splotches. You can add white. Now you can actually go in here and splatter some of that white. I mean, guys, this is fun. Look at that. It just changed that area so much. You will have created yourself a now, since most of the flowers kind of have this, you know, skinny linear kind of look, we do want to offset that with some maybe some ones that don't look like that. And what I mean by that, let's paint some more rounded flowers. Um, maybe in a different color. Mix up some of this yellow, it's made a mess. So you can take the yellow, maybe do like, you know, see, I'm just doing like a rounded color, rounded shape here, changing like that other one, or you can go in and add like more daisy kind of things. But you know, we started off with the splatter. I'm adding some yellow. This is just, you know, the wildflower. This is just a blast to do. Super easy. Any beginner can do this. See how I just splatter the pan and just kind of pushing the pan around. You can go back in and make some more grasses or leaves. 
So we didn't talk about that. We can make some nice pretty leaves. I'm just making a nice green here. So just take your brush and push it around next to those those marks you made with the grass. You guys actually have a few. Let me just grab a skinny brush. Number four, Princeton. And I'll just take this and maybe just put some grass is floating back here that will turn with we'll add some leaves to it. Look over in here. Just like that. Like loose grass. You see that loose grass way up there? And then on those grasses, go back and take your brush. You're just dotting little marks next to it for leaves. See? You can make them nice bright or you can make them darker. Depends on what you want to do. And see, I'm just kind of pushing the paint down to make the little petals of leaves. That's that simple. And if you want to get more, you know, serious down below, I'm adding some Prussian blue. What's the right number? Because then you can add, take the brush, the tip of it, do some grass lines, add some darker leaves in between some of the flowers here. You know, playing around with adding more color, t deeper color on the side here. Same thing here. I'm just kind of, see, I'm kind of tapping it. Getting a little darker down in here with my green. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, and little stems. Again, you can add some leaves, just kind of peeking through here. My green is kind of getting all blah. Want some darker leaves up in here. Kind of wild and crazy, right? <laughs> you see that? You could add um, some iridescent colors to it. I really like um, the light colors, so I'm going to add some more white. Let's see what happens here. See, bigger white splotches. It's going to change the landscape of this picture. Right? These bigger ones. And I'm going to put some dots in the center. And do like little teeny ones. You could paint some daisies. But really, it's just splatter and pushing down for little dots. And you've created yourself a cute little impressionistic style painting. I did some teeny mini Monday ones that were like and the orange tones, but this is like more wild color. I mean, wild color, wildflower tones, <laughs> wild color. Oh, you can tell I'm losing it. See, I'm just kind of tapping in some more white. Kind of like, like white roses, you know, that's kind of reminds you of. You see, you squint your eye. You can add a little more white up in here. Trying to keep it lighter in the center and darker on the edges. And you see I just changed the landscape by adding a lot of white here. And then I would go and grab some yellow. I made my yellow a little messy. I like the paint kind of messy in my private painting without doing YouTube. Uh, it's just the best bits. Grab some of that yellow. Put it in the center of the white. I could do blue in center too. But I'm doing yellow. And that's kind of how this, this little guy goes. I'm going to add a little yellow up here. Can add some yellow flowers at the edge of this. Up over in here. La la. Just having fun. Isn't that fun? Again, that 
purple magenta. I'm not sure if I like that. I do want to keep it on the lighter side. So I'm going to fix that pink. Make it more like a pink. I'm going to go over that magenta with the pink. I didn't like how dark that was. Again, you just have that, and you can add the nice bright pink down here where it's lighter. It's not going to, see? Just like, I'm not going to put it in every section. I'm just going to put it in a little bit here and there. And you've created yourself a nice, pretty, impressionistic style painting. Just by dotting it, pushing it around. Right? A little more of the color up this way. I think this is the most fun you can do <laughs> in a day. And then you can go ahead and splatter some more of this color. Ooh, the splatter. It's just, it's too much fun. So I think that's good. I think we're gonna play around with that. If you wanna add, like, like I said, some darker dots, you wanna just go in with another brush, or the brush you have. It is a Prussian blue a darker color. Just go in between and add some deeper tones in some areas. It's just going to pop them, you know, even more so. It's going to give it some life, especially around like the dark, I mean, excuse me, the, uh, the white. It's going to emphasize that color. See how it just stands right out. And like I said, I wouldn't do it everywhere, just in certain areas. Kind of on the edges a little bit. Because remember we wanted to keep the edges kind of in the deep tones and get lighter in the center. So I'm going to go back in there. I'm going to go back in and add some browns. So I'm just kind of tapping it. Add some blue. Get that bright number in there. So now that's kind of grounding it more, right? Oh, you could spend eternity doing this stuff. <laughs> so I don't want to bore you anymore. Isn't that fun? You could put like a little fence back here too. You know? Get jiggy with it. I could add a little fence. I don't want to do that because I don't want to wreck it, but I could do that. Right? You can just take... Maybe I will do it. Maybe I will wreck it. No. <laughs> a burnt umber or a gray. And you can put the fence. I don't know, should I put it in? <laughs> I think I'm going to keep it the way it is. Because if I put it in and hate it, I'll be mad. So I'm going to look at the, the tape and see what we got. This is the fun part. Lifting up the tape to see the reveal. And yeah. Loving it. No, you didn't have to do multicolors. Like I said, you could have kept it tonality and just blues and purples. But really, guys, look how much fun that was to do. And really, it was not hard. You're splatting paint, you're moving paint around, and then you're just kind of taking tap, 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 tap. And I say tap, 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 dance around with the paint, right? And I just added white gouache. White gouache is your friend. You can mix it with the watercolor and create a whole different look. So it's a little mixed media here, but really not that much, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys are having fun with painting. I hope you don't get frustrated. And if you're having a hard week, you're having a hard day, just put the paint, splatter it down, wash it around, <laughs> and create. Look what you can come up with. I mean, it's pretty, right? Yeah. You know, if you have a computer and you scan some of your artwork in, if you just blow it up, right? Just this kind of like just a section right here. Be amazed how cool that looks. Just giving you some more ideas. Anyway, uh, have any questions again? Leave them in the comment section. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you haven't hit the bell notification button, hit, please hit the bell notification button. So thanks guys so much for stopping by. Take care and happy painting.